Good afternoon, Guardians. My name is The Black Link. And with today's Destiny 2 updated reset, we of course had the release of the dawning event as well as the next week of story quests surrounding the legendary titan, Saint-14. If you finished the introductory quest for him last week, then you should be able to immediately start the next quest in that chain by going and speaking to Osiris on Mercury. And the quest to save Saint-14 this week is very much going to be similar to the one last week. There are going to be some puzzles you'll have to solve, but don't worry, we've got you covered in this video. For the first step of this quest, you're going to need to plant six transponders around Nessus. This particular step is very similar to when we had to find the 15 Vex transponders across three different planets last week, although this one will be a little bit quicker. Just follow the path that we're taking here, I'll show you exactly how to get to all six. Including the trickier one that was located in the Tangle. I bet more than a few of you guys were kind of stuck on that one. Another Vex construction project. Their persistence is inspiring. Ether delivery incoming. This is always exciting.
Now, once you've planted the final transponder, the quest itself will update. You'll be tasked with finding Saint-14's lost ghost. And you can do so by making your way to the pools of luminance at the cistern. Again, just follow the path that I'm taking here, and once you've found the cave, make your way all the way to the end, where you'll find a Vex construct that you'll be able to interact with. Do so, and it will activate a portal. Jump through that portal, grab the ghost, and you'll be done with this step. Alright, once you've planted all six transponders, the quest itself will update. Now you're going to have three new objectives. You'll need to defeat 25 guardians, use your super ability to defeat 25 enemies, and generate 25 orbs of light. Now, of course, this step is actually rather simple. Uh, for the super abilities and the orbs of light, you can generate those simultaneously. Now, what I would recommend you do is that you just pull up a map, find a public event flag, jump to it, get your super instantly, use it, take everything around you out, jump to the next public event flag. By doing that, you'll basically always have a source for your super. You won't have to wait for your super to recharge, and you should be able to rack up 25 kills and 25 orbs of light in no time flat. But then, once you're done with that, it's time to take out some Guardians. Thankfully, Scorched is available this week, which makes this step go by very, very quickly. For instance, I was able to get the 25 kills I needed for this step in just a few games. But, once you're done with that, your next step will be to speak with Osiris back at the Sundial. Do so, and it will unlock the mission to go and rescue Saint-14. Now, I'm going to try not to spoil anything here. It's a really awesome mission. It's going to be very similar to the mission that we did last week. You'll be going through the corridors of time. You're going to come out at a very specific time in history, and the rest will play out as it does. The boss fight that you have to go through is also pretty self-explanatory. Kill the Vex. When a giant major shows up, kill him, grab the orb, slam it in the gigantic glowing plate and you'll be able to get that done in no time flat but once you finish that cutscene head back to osiris speak to him once more and you will have completed all of the saint 14 quests available this week so there you go guardians i hope you like where they're going with this story i know i do that's going to be it for this one. I just want to make a quick video to show people where those uh, transponder spots were across Nessus. It took me a little while to find them all. Hopefully it helped you out. If it did, feel free to drop a like. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest stuff we're putting out. Additionally, how did you guys feel about the end of that mission? The boss fight and everything that happens after that? Let me know down in the comment section below. I was psyched for it. But that's going to be it for this one, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, I am the Black Link. You guardians, stay frosty.